Conservation Halton is disappointed with the Ontario government over a last-minute addition to amendments of the Conservation Authorities Act proposed in Section 6 of Bill 229. The bill passed third reading on December 8th. Now, Conservation Halton has publicly stated they are grateful for working with the government and making some changes to the amendments, but President and CEO Hassan Bassett says they don't go far enough. We still think that there are going to be some unintended consequences of this overall bill uh, or changes to the CA Act that will actually slow down service delivery for our customers, whether it's developers or, or whether it's agriculture community or individuals. We feel that it's going to add red tape. It's going to take everything. Uh, it's going to make the process more litigious and confrontational. So we're kind of disappointed that those changes you know, went in. Uh, but overall, we've had a great relationship with, with the Minister of Environment, Conservation and Parks over the past few weeks, and, and we certainly appreciate those changes that, that, that he did make uh, in response to feedback from CH and other conservation authorities. Having said all of this, though, Bassett did say he was shocked to find a last-minute addition to the amendments that will basically forbid conservation authorities from denying permits for developments if presented with the minister's zoning order or MZO. Let's talk about what a permit is issued for. It's issued to a building that is safe. That's it. We're, not, we're you know we're talking about floodplains and hazards. Uh, erosion hazards to ensure that people aren't building their homes and their businesses in an area where they can, uh, you know, either property or life can be uh, impacted due to flooding. So we're talking about core public safety here. The amendment does go on to say that the Conservation Authority can attach some conditions to those approvals, um, but that those conditions can then be appealed to the minister and the minister can decide whether they're valid or not. So it's sort of a forced permit clause. How this will all play out in the long run, Bassett says they will have to wait and see, but he says there should have been more consultations. I think that there was no need to rush this through. I think further consultations were required, and I think we could have worked with the government, including with the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing, in, in trying to come up with a, with a way where, you know, CAs can respect the MZOs because the minister has that authority. It's under the Planning Act, but that it also... Main, retains the integrity of, of what a conservation authority does when it reviews development in hazard lands. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.